Before starting the proper video, I would like to thank Canada Kusterfan for recommending my channel on his favorite YouTuber's video. It's a really cool gesture, so big shout out to him. Welcome back for another review. Today's coaster is located in eastern France, deep in the Vosges Mountains. Opened in 2011 at Frippertie City, Temper Drop is an SNS El Loco clone which once held the record for the steepest drop on a coaster in the world. I rode this coaster a week ago, and here are my full thoughts on this little ride. Timber Drop's theming is definitely what distinguishes it from other near identical El Loco models. The ride goes inside several iconic fake tree trunks, the biggest of which surrounds the main drop of the coaster. In my opinion, this is very creative scenery and it truly makes the coaster more appealing. On the top of that, there's some foliage and trees around the ride, and the whole zone is really pleasant to see. The station is pretty neat, and there's some funny details next to the final brakes and transfer track sections, such as some fake saws and cocks on the wall. Timber Drop's layout is your standard generic El Loco, after a sharp turnaround, the small car plunges into the beyond vertical drop of 113 degrees, then follows a series of sharp turns, including an outside banked hairpin and two inversions, a dive loop and a downward spiral roll. That's actually pretty good and fairly varied for such a compact and short coaster. I think this is a great sequence of elements. The pacing is more than acceptable, and the fast left hill doesn't let you catch a breath. Next category is intensity. Timber drop never gets too extreme. Nevertheless, there's a nice diversity of forces, and it's a rather thrilling ride. The drop is quite sudden, the inversions give you some pretty fun hang time, and the tight turns provide some slight laterals. If you're lucky, there's even a small pop of air time right after the dive loop. It took me by surprise when I experienced it, and it was fun. Finally, let's discuss ride comfort. The coaster is smooth, with no noticeable jarring or jolts, despite the tight transitions. The restraints are kind of weird. They combine a side lap bar with shoulder protections. It's not the most comfortable, but still decent and the shoulder thingy are wide enough not to cause head banging. In other words, it's not perfect, but doesn't prevent you from enjoying the coaster. Time to announce the final score, and I think Timber Drop deserves a 6.5 mark. It doesn't pretend to be a top 10 coaster, but certainly packs above its weight and provides a fun, smooth ride, which is a good introduction to thrills for younger guests. Its adorable theming really enhances the experience. In a nutshell, Timber Drop is a very solid attraction that is arguably one of the best investments a small park can make.